Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Solipsis, and Solipsis is part of the second Dread X collection that was recently released. If you're interested in that, look down below in the description, I'll leave the links and the details in there. But in Solipsis, I'm going to be playing as one of two astronauts who are conducting a geological survey on the moon. The moon that you see fading into the darkness back there. It sounds like a lot of fun, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like. Maybe leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end and tell me what you thought, alright? Here we go. Let's begin a new game of Solipsis. You know, it's strange that I became an astronaut. I had nightmares as a kid, being alone on the moon. So did I. When I woke up, I would look out the window and find the moon in the sky. You know, to prove I wasn't still on it. <laughs> Makes sense. On some nights, I would see a face there. Hmm. Kid. Let me pull the coordinates. Very dark wood. First deployment is at 20.21 north, 30.77 east. Over here. Okay, I'm en route. And uh, I'm looking for mushrooms. <laughs> I'm looking for bear traps. I'm looking for cabins to sleep in. Alright, yeah, this is cool. So, just up here? I can see it. Measuring the gravity, okay. 8.8. .8. Is that good? It's in the red. Oh, I see. We're actually controlling it with WAS and D now. Um, Set it down nice and easy. Just like that. 8.2? 8 milligals. Okay. We were hoping to locate that empty lava tube. An empty lava tube? 8 milligals. Just solid ground orbit. Right. Nope. Copy. Put a 20.22 north, 30.80 east. Up here? Will do. Okay, so we're trying to track an empty lava tube. And that was not the reading that I'm looking for. So, 10 meters in this direction. Okay. About here? Uh, four... I was gonna say 14. Minus 14? Or minus 15? Is that better? Looking at... Hmm. Okay. Maybe the empty lava tube? 20.26 north, 30.81 east. Okay. 30 meters in this direction, and as I go that way, I'm looking for anything. I'm wondering why this was prefaced with that little story about having dreams, having nightmares of being alone on the moon. There's gonna be something up here, right? You're just about there. Okay. Let's see what we get. Wow, okay, minus 120, nearly? Yeah. That's... What's your reading? Looking at negative 120 here. <sighs> That's our lava tube. Right. Must be a deep one. I think it's running early. Take it to 20.31 north, 30.82 east. Okay, will do. Roger that. So, it's kind of like we're tracking an underground river or something. Look at that. Look at these rocks. These rocks on top of the surface. Doesn't that look like an eye to you? <laughs> Let's ignore it. Let's ignore it. That's not helping. Let's go this way. And let's see if we can get another big old negative reading, I guess. Like minus 200. Surface? Holy shit! What was that? Something just moved down there. But that minus, nearly minus 650. That's crazy. You just gotta center it there. Right, got it. Negative 650. What is that though? Something underneath the rock. And now I've got to rationalize. Oh, huh. <laughs> well, that's cool. I wonder, is that is that Daniel Mullins himself? 
He's actually looking at the cursor as well. That's a cool effect. Right, so... We gotta find something that fits into his mind, I suppose. So what's this? There's like a giant cavern underneath him. This would be confusion. And this would be... Well, I don't know what this is exactly, but... That's it. The gravimeter... It must be broken. Yeah, it must be broken! I need to adjust my orbit. Right. You do that. The large satellite isn't the moon, is it? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, he's done for. Look at that trail of blood as well. That was his head. Okay. And now I'm a survey team of one. I'm on my own. I'm stranded on the moon. It's just like my nightmares. Fuck. <laughs> Why the hell did I become an astronaut? Oh man. Um. Shit, I don't know. Can I still... Okay, I'm, I'm still taking measurements. Minus 715. I don't think this is broken. I think we're actually getting the, the proper readings. Um. Yeah, I've got no direction to go in. Let's just go up. Uh, you know, the, the lower the readings, the better, right? So let's take another one. Okay, yeah, this is this is looking good. Or horrible, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe these readings are a little bit too low. Either way, seems like I'm heading in the right direction going this way, going north, up the screen. Damn. Right. Okay, nearing minus 900. Okay. I like this a lot, I've got to say. I love the way it's presented, I love the way it controls, I love the way it sounds, the way it looks. It's got its own little style. Honestly, I'm kind of looking for more eyes or something like that, you know? Right, let's see. Wow, we're nearing minus 1000 now. Are we going to get there? Right, hang on. There we go, yeah. Oh, got some more rocks. Okay, time to rationalize seeing some steps down into the moon. Okay. Oh? Oh? Okay, a few more things. So, we've got... We've got... It's the Soviets? <laughs> Aliens? Uh, two types of aliens, I suppose, or I guess this is like general confusion. That's that's not it. It's well, it's it's the Soviets. It's got to be the Russians. Look at those triangles. Oh, that's that's it. You just knock him against the side of the screen. Okay, all right. I, I'm liking that this is a, a strange puzzle game as well. But there you go. Yeah, it's got to be the Soviets. It's got to be the Russians. Yeah, they built this, and they also constructed the rocks around it to look like an eye as I go into its pupil. Wow. Okay, so it's... it's not just a staircase. It's a spiral staircase. Those crafty Soviet bastards. <laughs> this was what I was tracking, right? This is the empty lava tube. I've only been playing this for like five minutes, but I'm so into this. This is great. This is a great introduction to the second Red X collection, in my opinion. Can I still take measurements? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. That's okay though, I think I've... <laughs> I think I've found it. But yeah, seriously. Why did I become an astronaut? I could have been anything. I could have been an engineer, I could have been a vet. <sighs> I don't know. Anything but this. Are we just going around in circles? I can't tell if we're going up or down. This could... This could make me jump like a motherfucker. What the hell was that? Okay, let's avoid that step if possible. Yeah, I can't really tell if we're going up or down. 
maybe this is a little bit like the MC Escher stairs or the uh, Penrose stairs, I think they're called. Like the impossible stairs that don't go up or down. They just, they're endless. There's no deviating. We can't go to the left and right. So there's moon rock to the left and right, I assume. But yeah, these could be the same steps that I walked over before. Whoa! Oh! Whew. There's something down here. Something big. Something that retreated into the rock somehow. It had like two or three limbs. <sighs> Jeez, okay. I mean, I'd get out of here, but what's the point? I'm stranded, right? There's no rescue. Okay. I can't tell, but... Oh! Shh. Did the floor just give way? Oh, wait, that was it? I think we were actually going around in a circle there. But I, I'm alive. I'm alive. I don't think I broke my legs either. I must be injured though, because I can't really move very quickly. Wow, okay, uh, yeah. Can I? No, okay, no more measurements to be taken. Let's just keep on going in this direction. I'm really nervous. I wish I had some sort of weapon. At least in Darkwood I would have had a torch or something. Uh, oh, ah! I think I just saw a brief glimpse of whatever I saw on the staircase. Oh boy. Yeah, rationalize this. Have fun. Oh, look at his face. Look at how mad he is. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's so many. And it's all confusion. It's just the right shape confusion. This one. There you go. Right. That doesn't sound Russian. And it doesn't sound like a message from Houston. I don't know what's going on. But I am loving this. This is great. Okay. About 15 meters. Oh, 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 okay, let, let, let's let not go that way. Let's not go that way. Let's go this way. If I can, can I? Okay, I can go around here, I see. What's this? It's like a little hat. Oh, oh, it's me! I have to move myself in there, right. Oh, I have to drag myself in there. Oh, right. Wait. Did my head just explode? And the Oh my... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so I was right! The nightmares was- Okay, the nightmares were right, and that's the end of Solipsis. There was a face on the moon. And it got me killed. Why did I become an astronaut? I should have been anything else. All right, well, there you go. That was Solipsis. That was a great deal of fun. It was short, but it was very sweet. It maybe only lasted, what, like 10 minutes or so? But man, I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a great introduction to the Dread X collection. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. I had nightmares as a kid, being alone on the moon. So did I. Now, I'm wondering why this was prefaced with that little story about having dreams, having nightmares of being alone on the moon. There's going to be something up here, right? <laughs> Let's ignore it. Let's ignore it. That's not helping. Right, minus 200. Holy shit! What was that? The large satellite isn't the moon, is it? Oh, fuck! Got some more rocks. This could... This could make me jump. These could be the same steps that I walked over before. Whoa! Oh! 
There's something down here. Yeah, rationalize this. Have fun. Oh, look at his face. Look at how mad he is. Did my head just explode? And the... Oh my 